your girl be traveling and the traveling for me is not stopping i mean it's definitely stopping because my sis rona is out here and she you know causing havoc in america but don't worry when she go through when she go to her little other planet hopefully she go to pluto because it's not a planet anymore you know your girl is gonna be out and about all right i'm inside but when we outside we day outside I what's mean. good what's pop you guys and welcome back to toyosi tv so i took a poll on instagram and i asked you guys what video do you guys want to see me do and you guys chose this video which is going to be talking about how i'm able to afford to travel so much a lot of my friends a lot of my family have been asking me this question so i was just like let me bless y'all and grace y'all screens and share with y'all my secrets tips and tricks on how I'm able to travel. So let me set the record straight. There is a difference between traveling and vacation, right? When I went to Puerto Rico, that was a vacation. When I just took my recent Asian tour, that was a travel. So when you're traveling, you wanna explore more, you wanna do more experiences, you wanna meet with the locals, you actually wanna immerse yourself in the culture. You're on your Dora the Explorer type of timing. But when you're on a vacation, you're laying on a beach, you're doing it for the gram, you're eating out at exquisite restaurants, you don't care, you on your Grant Cardone type of timing, you're 10x and everything, you don't care what you spend money on, you're partying, you're drinking, that's a vacation. But when you're ready to know which type of trip you want to take, whether it's a travel and a vacation, that's when you will know what type of money you need for that type of trip. So a lot of my trips are travel trips where I'm doing local things, I'm being budget friendly and I'm also making sure I'm managing my time well and I have a set schedule and I'm very clear and coherent on what I want to do and where I want to spend my money on while I'm abroad. So for all y'all that think that your girl is grown up in a rich family, she got money coming from trees, it's not like that. It's because your girl is actually smart the way she travels. Probably like going to Foot Locker, right? You can either get yourself some $40 Converse's. I think it's like $45. You can either get yourself $45 Converse's because you know them shoes, you can wear them every day. Or you can go in there and get the latest Jordans that cost $250 because you want to look fly. Do you get what I'm saying? Whenever you take a trip, is whatever you want to take out of it. If you want to be a big baller, then you go it. If you want to be on a budget friendly type of timing, then that's what you want to do. So now that we understand the difference between travel and vacation, I'm gonna now share with you guys how I'm able to afford traveling. So the first thing that I do is I have a travel savings account. I'm a finance student and I'm very good with money. Ever since I went to Korea, I had a travel savings account. So any money that came into my bank card, 50% of it was allocated towards my travel savings account. When you have in your mind that you want to do something, it can happen. So if you want to say you want to travel, start saving towards your travel trip. If you want to go abroad, I think this is one of the best options to do, which is to have a travel savings account. This is different from your checking. This is different from your savings. This is another account that you have. You can have another card or there's various apps where you can put money in, you can allocate money to, and definitely just save on there. The two apps that I recommend is Digit and Mint. So Digit is an app where they take, they see how much you have in your bank account every day they take a little bit out of your account every day and this definitely helps because if you don't want to open another bank account if you don't want to open another savings account then this is definitely good because they help you save at your own pace if you like you want to take out 10 cents a day they will do it if you want to take out $50 a day and you big baller like Beyonce you do that so um I would definitely provide the link down below to digit you will get $5 if you use the link down below and you guys can start saving like that. Also, another app that I use is Mint. Now, Mint helps you track all of your purchases throughout the day. If you're the type of person that don't look at your bank account because you're scared to look at your bank account, well, this app will help you. It will notify you on what you're spending and it will also give you, at the end of the week, even your bank account does that because I have Chase and they show me how much I spent over the week. So Mint tells you how much you spent over the week and what you're spending your money on. So I think these two apps are essential to being able to save for your dream trip. Those two apps have 
bless your girl. All right, so definitely take advantage of those two apps. They're absolutely free. So the second way that I'm able to afford travel is because through my study abroad program. A lot of you guys are like, yeah, you did study abroad two years ago. Like, what are you still talking about it? Yes, because I had so much money in scholarships and support that it overflowed into my travel savings account. So I had over $6,000 in scholarships. My program was like literally, after everything was paid for, was $3,000. So your girl pocketed like half of the money that she got in scholarships towards her travel. And I didn't travel while I was in Korea. I only traveled to Osaka and Jeju. So after that, I had money left over in order to travel again. So if you guys wanna know how to study abroad, definitely refer to this video because I do teach you how to study abroad like a pro. And I kid you not, there's so many scholarships in studying abroad. When I say so many scholarships, there's so much funding and scholarships because only one in 10 college students study abroad. You're bound to get a scholarship, all right? And your study abroad could be completely free. So while I was abroad, I wasn't spending crazy. I was spending on a budget, but I did have fun. So you wanna put your money in places where you wanna spend money, but then you wanna put your money in other places where you don't need to spend money, like on food. Like you don't need to go out to eat every day, all right? Go cook something, go eat a bowl of cereal, go eat a bowl of noodles, you feel me? Go eat some eggs. Stop eating at exquisite restaurants because it ain't it, all right? So the third way that I was able to afford to travel was because I had multiple jobs. So I had multiple streams of income coming in. And I really do give myself a pat on the back because literally after I came back from my study abroad session, I had three jobs. I was working at government internship, I was working at a nonprofit organization, and I was also being a tutor. And within that, I also had time management skills. You also have to have great time management skills in order to be able to afford to travel because I kid you not, if you're not making money from one job, you need to make sure you're getting another job. So all of them will pay me minimum wage, and in New York City, minimum wage is $15. Your girl was getting over 40 hours from these three jobs. Not 40 hours per job, but in total with all of them, I was basically a full-time worker, and then a full-time student. So my time management skills was A1, all right? They were A1, but I was making a lot of money because I had three jobs, and it was just, it was stressful, but at the end of the day, I had a goal in mind, and that was to travel. When I had my mind on traveling somewhere, there was nothing that was stopping me from making money in order to get on a plane to that place. In November, when I went to Dubai with my sisters, I was saving. I literally told them in June, like, I want to go to Dubai in December. Like, I said, we're going to take a Thanksgiving trip. Literally from June to October, your girl was saving like crazy. I was working like crazy, but I was also going to school. So mind you, you also got to be cautious on, can you take on different types of roles in order to work? Like, bro, I had three jobs. Your girl was hustling. I was hustling. If you want something, you hustle for it. All right, because nothing is going to be given to you on a plate unless you like Ivy Blue. Nothing's gonna be given to you on a platter. You want it, go get it, period. My sis Rona came to earth, but there's also multiple ways that you guys could definitely make money during this whole epidemic right now. And if you guys want a video on that, where I share my tips on how you can make money, definitely comment that down below because your girl is a finance student and I tell you, me staying at home this whole time, your girl has gotten creative, all right? I have definitely gotten creative. The fourth way that I'm able to afford traveling is by cutting down my expenses. And when I say this, I'm saying this to all my friends, all my family that I be seeing on the gram, that be partying every weekend, be out eating. This one is for y'all. This is especially for y'all because this is the reason why I'm able to afford to travel and take my dream trips and you're not. You feel me? And I'm not saying that to be rude or anything, but I'm saying that because you're wasting your money on liabilities and things that you don't need. You don't need to go outside. You don't need to get the latest Jordans. You don't need to go and impress somebody that don't like you. Like, it doesn't make sense. When I tell my friends I'm not able to go out, I'm thinking of the opportunity cost that I am not going outside. If I don't go outside with you, I don't have to pay a $50 Uber to the city. I don't have to take the dusty, crusty train. I don't have to 
<laughs> like I really don't have to get dolled up I don't have to be annoyed by seeing people that I don't want to see so I'm talking about people like on the train and in the streets those are things that I get to give up because I'm staying at home thinking about okay if I save this money I could put it towards my travel literally a Saturday night in New York City can cost you around a hundred dollars to two hundred dollars and I'm talking about me going from Brooklyn to the city. You're going out to eat for dinner, so the lunch menu's not there, it's not cheap. Dinner's expensive in New York. When the trains don't work, you're definitely gonna take an Uber back home. So, I mean, it's a lot of things that you have to take into consideration when you are going out to eat every day or you're going out to party every weekend. You're wasting a lot of money. And if you actually do the calculations on how many times you went out or you went out to eat, bro, I'm pretty sure you would never think that you would spend that much money. Whenever I tell my friends I cannot go out to eat with them or I don't go out to party, yes, I'm missing out on the interaction with my friends, but they also know that your girl, I go out every once in a while, but every night, every Saturday night, every weekend, that's a no-go, all right? So definitely cut back down on your expenses, all right? This is essential. Stop shopping, stop eating out. Just stop all the stuff that you don't need to spend your money on because you can save that money towards a trip. Whenever I think about me saying no to my friend, I'm always saying that like, yo, if I don't spend a hundred dollars today, that hundred dollars can get me skydiving. That hundred dollars can get me sushi in Japan. That hundred dollars can get me a ticket into the Taj Mahal. Do you get what I'm saying? When you start thinking like that, that's when, when you change your mindset, bro, you'll be able to get money so you can travel or take your dream trip. Your girl be traveling, and the traveling for me is not stopping. I mean, it's definitely stopping because my sis Rona is out here, and she, you know, causing havoc in America. But don't worry, when she go through, when she go to her little other planet, hopefully she go to Pluto because it's not a planet anymore, you know, your girl is gonna be out and about. All right, I'm inside, but when we outside, we day outside. I hope you guys enjoyed, and you guys took some Toyosi tips and tricks on how I'm able to afford to travel. And I hope you guys definitely do listen to this advice and definitely go take it in and alter it to fix your lives. I hope y'all really took something away from this. Um, That's how I'm able to afford to travel. If you have a different way or different strategy on how to afford to travel, shoot that down below because I would like to hear y'all comments too. Everybody that's watching this video right now, in 2020, after my sister Rona leaves, I encourage you guys to travel because it's going to be an eye-opening experience. Even if you're traveling to like a different state, just travel by yourself. Actually immerse yourself into the place, into the culture, into the country because it is so beautiful when you guys actually open up and you're not just closed off like literally it's the best experience ever all right i hope y'all like this video definitely like this video because i share with y'all my secrets and my tips and tricks on how i'm able to afford to travel so that the least y'all can do is give me a thumbs up all right and definitely y'all know the vibes subscribe 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 and also don't forget to hit that notifications bell because in the next video i'll be sharing with you guys how to travel for free as a college student yes your girl is a college student and she traveled to multiple places for free so if you are interested in that video definitely tune in next week for that video and it will be one for the books all right so I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.